Hey Nisas, it's Marisha. I haven't seen y'all in a very, very long time, like an embarrassingly long time. So much has happened. I'm going to try to update y'all in like 10 seconds. For one, my computer went on the fritz literally like three months ago. I got the blue screen of death. That's ultimately why you guys haven't seen me in a long time. I've also been working non-stop, especially since Christmas, literally every single day. But I finally got a new computer. I did do a couple of vendor events and pop-up shops. So I do have footage to edit for y'all. I just had to kind of get myself back together. You guys, last week I was in a car accident. It was the first snow of the year. Thank God I am okay. I have a concussion. I have whiplash. I am super achy, but I've been taking the time to just kind of relax to try to get myself back together to be 100%. Let's get into today's video. I was asked to make a heart cake. Now these glittery heart cakes are seriously trending right now. You not only see them for Valentine's Day, but you just see them for birthdays, period. I'm going to make an all pink heart cake. It's going to be sparkly. It's a really gorgeous cake. If you have not done so yet, I'm going to need you guys to subscribe to the channel and press on the notification bell. Let's get started. Okay, cake nistas, I have my gorgeous pink vanilla buttercream frosting right here. Now this is my three layer heart cake already filled with vanilla buttercream and crumb coated. I'm going to put a whole bunch of frosting on the top and smooth that out with my spatula while turning the cake to make sure that it's nice and level. Now I'm going to bring that excess down to the sides of the cake and smooth out the sides of the cake. Now this is one thing, this is like cake decorating 101. When I took that one cake decorating class that I accidentally took because I thought that it was required for my culinary arts degree but it wasn't and that's why we all got A's. <laughs> that is one thing. <laughs> Or that's like the first thing that she actually told us. She's like, put a whole bunch on top and just bring it down to the sides. So once you do that, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in all those gaps. And yes, I just build and build and build. And then I smooth it out later. One thing that I'm always kind of paranoid about, even though it is crumb coated, I'm always paranoid about getting some crumbs into my frosting. So I make sure to just spread that frosting onto the cake and doing as much as I possibly can before actually trying to smooth it out. Now it can be a little bit tricky to smooth out shaped cakes like this one. The shape may be different, but the method is still the same. Just carefully using your bench scraper or cake scraper, just take that excess frosting off. You can go in segments if you would like, just to make sure that everything is smooth. Go from the edge, bring that into the center to make the top nice and smooth. And then you can see I have a lot of gaps. Now this is something that I've actually played around with throughout the years, that sounds really crazy. Let me explain. I put some extra buttercream on the top of those spaces there. And then I actually hold my bench scraper in an angle that allows me to push excess buttercream into those spaces. And that's something that I never saw anybody do or mention or talk about. It's just something that I kind of picked up along the way and it works out for me. So I do, I actually push some of that frosting into the holes and I think it works pretty well. Now I can decorate the cake. I'm going to use my petal tip with a darker shade of pink and we're gonna make like a banner. And already you can see my confidence is down the drain because I'm not used to doing this. Can we keep the struggle bus away all 2024? I don't know. It's bound to visit. It doesn't have any type of discrimination laws against it. There is literally, that bus will pop up when that bus wants to pop up. I'm truly, truly not used to making banners like this, but it's something that I always see. It's such a classic design, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to make ruffles with this tip, and you know what? I'm coming out strong now. I'm coming out very strong. And let me just let y'all know right now that I truly don't know. Like, I didn't map this part out. I didn't map this out. This is a freestyle and it's a little bit of a rush. So, I'm going to go in the center of the cake, make another banner. And the way that you make a straight banner like this is to just make sure that you are holding your arm to your side and you turn the cake. Do not mess with your arm. 
little tricks. Now I'm going to use a star tip and I'm going to pipe some shell banners onto the cake. Now there is a whole technique to make sure that yours does not come out looking wonky like mine. But unfortunately, I didn't remember that technique till after I was done the cake. <laughs> this was the second snowstorm of the week and this person was coming to pick up this cake and it was a rush. She actually asked me if I could make it faster because the snowstorm was coming. So I'm literally just trying to decorate this cake. I wanted it to look pretty and all, but I was rushing. And with rushing sometimes, girl. Make sure that you take your time, okay? Cause now you're gonna see my little bits of flaws here. All right? It's given U's and V's, okay? UV, the UV rays are tripping right now on my cake but that's what we got right now i'll fix that later okay um now i'm going to use a round piping tip and i'm going to pipe some hearts in the gaps and i'm really just going with whatever i don't know why i'm confident i may be overly confident but i'm also like listen I got to I got to rush, you know. This is we're in a crunch right now and it's it's sudden. There is a tight banner. So I thought that I was making it like totally even, but you can see right there in that angle that it's not. Like one banner is 2 inches, one is 1. But we're not going to focus on that banner right now. So I'm going to pipe some dots onto the cake as well. And it's really like, what can you do with the piping tip that you have? Like how many little banner designs can you make with the same three or four piping tips? That's pretty much what it comes down to. And you can do a lot. My banners look like, but I fixed, I fixed one. I didn't even fix all of them. I fixed one because we were rushing. Look, okay, weather inclement weather. She was going to drive out and pick up this cake and what do you want? Now this is a piping tip that I have learned to love. Initially, I just used it for flower petals. But now, oh my goodness, look at the banner that it makes. And now at this moment, I'm wishing that I hadn't made that ruffle banner in the center. It kind of breaks everything apart because it's straight across. If I were to have made everything go straight across, maybe it would have worked out. I don't know. There's so many things that you could do. Maybe it's just me. Now I'm going to move in with one of my favorite piping tips. I love this one. This is a tube tip. This makes the most gorgeous shell border if you ask me those jumbo shell borders on a cake that is this size this is a 10 inch cake an 8 or a 10 inch cake even a 6 inch cake something is just magical about it now i had started to make the same border on the bottom of the cake but i felt like it was too clunky so i'm actually using the same type of piping tip but a smaller version for the border on the bottom of the cake you could kind of see what I mean. It was just sticking out a little bit too far. It was a little bit too much attention and attraction to the bottom of the cake. And I just wanted to kind of blend in without looking too bottom heavy. So I did remove a banner, the banner that's in the front on the left that was really messed up. And I did fix that. So it's a little bit more evened out. It's not perfection, but that's okay. Okay, it's a cake. It's handmade. It's still gorgeous. And now the message on top is going to be birthday boss. I know all too well about being a birthday boss. Okay. And I think you cake nieces do as well. My writing style has definitely changed. I never know how I'm going to write something until it starts coming out of my piping tip. And I'm not mad at it. I really love the way this looks. So lastly, of course, and yes, that is my hair dangling in front. It wasn't even over the cake, but it was over the camera. So that looks crazy. You could, it looks like I was shaking. Oh, and I did not like that last S. I, it went up a little bit too much. So look, you guys, if you mess up on your lettering, it's not the end of the world. If you have a gentle, gentle, gentle hand and an offset spatula, you can make that thing smooth like it never had a letter on it before and fix that baby right up. And this is why, once again, refrigeration is so necessary. I'm going to finish this gorgeous cake off with some edible, non-toxic 
glitter that is kind of like the star of the show here I put a little bit of gold leaf because she didn't ask for it but I didn't think that she would be mad at it and a couple of gold sprinkles on there as well those are gold spaghetti sprinkles just for accents and you have to show these cakes off in low light so that you could really see that sparkle let me know what y'all think of this one in the comments down below couture in a sparkling heart cake bye guys The cake pan that I used for this, this was actually a heart silicone cake pan. It's about a 10 inch heart shaped cake. So what did y'all think of the outcome? Did you love it? Did you like it? We have to pick the first cake needs to comment of 2024. Ow. The lady who got this cake literally just mentioned me in a post just a couple minutes ago. That is gorgeous. Look. Look. Oh my goodness, the inside is everything. Is this a video? Yum, you guys. That's exactly what I wanted it to look like. Thank you to all the subscribers. And for those of you who are subscribed and still subscribed, thank y'all for coming even though I was not posting regularly. Thank y'all for standing 10 toes. Ten toes down, okay? The cake nista of the day is going to go to Angela283 on my banana pudding cheesecake. This was a struggle bus moment. That whole video was a struggle. Wow, but it came out so good, but it looked so bad. But it, it wasn't bad bad, but it was my bad. Girl, I got my headphones on watching you and cracked out loud at the mama bear. My coworkers think I'm nuts. <laughs> Thanks for keeping it real. I'll be making this subbed. Thank you, Angel. Did I say Angela? I meant Angel. <laughs> Angel 283. A lot of y'all talk about how y'all try to watch my videos in silent. Y'all know better than that, okay? Y'all know better than to watch these videos at work. Come on now, cause it's, it's only a matter of time before I say something slightly random and off the wall. The color of this hair up against my skin with the lipstick may not be the best combo, but I do have some good advice for y'all for 2024. The one thing that no one can replicate is you. So you need to be yourself all the time. Your best self, okay? Not if you're like, you know. We can all sit here and make the same cake. What's gonna make it special is you. Thank you for sticking around and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, Cake Nieces.